The first thing I want to do is invite uh, my parents, uh, branch president, to come up and say a couple little words for my parents, on behalf of them, and then you'll get back to me. President Richardson. Remember, I'm your executive secretary. Oh. Exactly. <laughs> he has my life in his hands. I have to be careful what I say. I'm really pleased to have this opportunity. I think most of us, as we go throughout our lives, we we sometimes wonder what it is that we're doing here. What, what is the point? I think we have a good example of one of the reasons that we're here, and it's to, it's to have families. It's to fall in love. It's to meet someone like, like Gabe and Loretta. And, uh, and spend your lives together. Um, I know that, that these two are very close to me and to my family. Both Mary and I have lost our fathers. And Brother Horn is like a father to, to my wife and to, and to me. And, uh, and a great example of what it really means to be a couple and to be one. We know in the Bible that the Lord told us that we needed to cleave unto our wives, cleave unto our spouses, and be one. And this is an example of the oneness that we should all strive for. So, congratulations, and I hope you have many more, and hopefully I'll be back for your 50th. <laughs> and, uh, I can remember that now, I'll invite you. Well, you know, that's one of the reasons God told us to be one, because when we get like this, it takes both of us to make one whole. <laughs> I wasn't going to say that, but <laughs> I have patience. I have patience that they tell me that that's, that's the way that it is. But, but uh, I'm just grateful for them and uh, grateful that we have this opportunity to honor them and their accomplishment. In this day and age, 45 years is an accomplishment, and we wish you, we wish you many more. very active in the Little Theater Off-Broadway here in Grove City. I'm the publicist and he is one of their beloved actors and singers for them. Um, in 1994, Timothy wrote a book called The Pleasantville Experience. And when that movie came out, we had to go see it just to be sure because we've been sent it to publishers, but they have nothing to do with each other. Matter of fact, the movie tends to tear down values and Timothy's book does nothing but build them up. And one time he said to me that the most precious thing that he could ever see would, would be if he could see Pleasantville. I mean, just see Pleasantville, not act it out, but be there. And another time, Timothy said to me, these theater friends of mine are the closest I have ever come to being in Pleasantville. So I have brought the two together and I have asked 15 of our dearest, closest friends from the theater to recreate just one chapter. It's a 400-page novel, a typical thing, but recreate one chapter. I did, unfortunately, have to take some artistic liberty just to make one chapter make a little more sense. <laughs> but um, I'll give you a little bit up to where they are um, in the book so it makes a little sense to all of you. Um, the main character in the story's name is Timothy Ray, and Timothy came from, um, a, he had lost his parents, he had been put in foster care, and he has run away from home, and he has come to the town of Pleasantville to stay. And in Pleasantville, he finds a family um, called the Senecas, Sally, Stephen, and their daughter Olivia, who at some point in time had actually lost a son. And they kind of take Timothy in and um, into their family and care for him and give him the life that he was looking for. And we begin with chapter six of the Pleasantville experience and it begins in the Seneca home. <laughs> <laughs> 